gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hello everyone and welcome to the channel That is Del Chanel's 4 Days World And welcome to another must-see video Okay, but I want to take the time out to thank you so much I mean thank you so much for the support you have shown me In the past, in the present, and in the future And continue to like my videos and share my videos And tell other people about me But if you haven't subscribed to the channel Go on and think about subscribing and come on over here It's a family affair We get down, we see must-see videos And we talk about them as well I give you my spin and I ask for you To tell me what you thought about the subject matter in conclusion but today we're going to be talking about um two of my favorite well one of my favorite housewives of Atlanta cast star as well as a friend to the um cast okay but anyway two fab is bringing this article out there um it, it was written by two fab staff writer and they wrote something on Marlo Hampton and Kenya Moore they're saying Marlo Hampton is shading which is awful, Kenya Moore, she still doubts the legitimacy of her marriage to Mark Daly. This is supposed to be exclusive, okay? Anyway, we go on into the article. It says, whenever it comes to Kenya, she always has different tricks in the bag, says Nene Leakes and her best friend, Marlo Hampton, okay? Marlo Hampton thinks both Kenya Moore and her divorce from Mark Daly are awful. Even though she doubts the legitimacy of their marriage, the Real Housewives of Atlanta star whirlwinds romance with the seemingly perfect businessman from New York drew lots of skepticism from her co-stars a few seasons back. Leading the pack was Marlo's best friend and Kenya's rival, Nene Leakes. Whenever it comes to Kenya, the, uh, she always have different tricks in the bag, Marlo said. When recently asked if she still feels Kenya's two-year marriage was a scam, uh, she uh, said, so you never know what you're going to get when it comes to Mrs. Moore. I'm 50-50 with it. When posed with the question of why Marlo and Kenya aren't friends, considering they seem to have a lot in common, Marlo said, you know what? I thought we had a lot in common because we're both Aquarius. And sidebar, I'm an Aquarius too, so that's why I get my strong, thick skin from. We are innovators. We're movers and shakers. We just tell it like it is, okay? And we move on. We love everybody. Whether they like us, hate us, we don't really care, okay? We get in where we fit in. That's a true Aquarian, okay? But anyway, that's my sidebar. Not in this article. We're going to go on back. But don't, <clears throat> it says, but don't you dare tell her she and Kenya both have good sense of style. Oh, no, 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 no. You saying Nene and I have a lot in common with fashion. I know you did not say Kenya and I have a lot in fashion or a lot in common. No, she fired back. Kenya just started buying labels, sweetie, in the last two years, okay? She's not that good with fashion. Major shade. Do y'all think that was a major shade? Yes, it was. Woohoo! The whole tree just fell down on Kenya Morris and her fashion. Per Marlo Hampton. Not in that article, my sidebar. Hampton also says she doesn't see the need for more and leaks to make amends. It's not even that it's too late. It's just that they don't need to bury hatchets. Some people are awful and they just won't ever change. She said, adding that she didn't feel any kind of way about Kenya's return to Real Housewives of Atlanta. So <clears throat> my sidebar, she's um, really mimicking the same thing that Nene said. She could care less. She could care... Um, she could have some thoughts about it, but it's really not too much that she should share because she really just don't care. <laughs> it's neither here nor there. And Nene's word, and it seems like Marlo shares, shares the same uh, sentiments. But going back uh, to the article, it said, uh, I'm just sorry to hear about her and her husband are getting a divorce. Hampton noted. I mean, I feel that's awful because they do have a ba beautiful baby on the other end. But, you know, shit happens, right? <laughs> She putting it to the punch. She ain't pulling no punches. She's pulling out all the stops. Okay. Uh, she just giving it to us quick, fast, and in a hurry. But going back to the article, it said, Moore famously went on a hiatus in season 11. It was speculated at the time that she was forced to choose between her husband and being on the show, which she confirmed during a recent appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. During the season 12 premiere, Kenya gushed over her miracle baby, Brooklyn. The topic of her marriage to Mark, however, wasn't met with and wasn't met with as much enthusiasm. I feel like God put me through certain challenges in my life, she said in one of her first confessionals of the evening. He made me kiss a lot of frogs. 
I felt like I had a fairy tale ending, but some things are not exactly like you thought it would be. Now, my sidebar, can you know you put yourself in those predicaments, okay? It was red flags going all the way around you, but of course, you know, you come with a lot of drama, a lot of bad. You try to make lemon, you try to make lemonade out of lemons, okay? So, so let's not put God in this, okay? Because God is not going to rush anything on you. He's going to definitely prepare you and he's going to be willing and wanting you to share it with the world and give a testimony that, yes, he did put this person in your life. And it's a beautiful situation. But as we all know, we see how it's definitely falling apart. There's lies here. There's lies there. And there's lies everywhere. OK, but you won't commit or admit to anything. So you're pleading the fifth. I say continue to plead the fifth because you'll do more damage to yourself than really letting us know the real deal. Let's take this as a starting point, a new leaf, or our branch from me to you, and let's move on. And let's stand in our truth. That's my sidebar. Moving back to the article. Okay. Um, it says do, 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 do. Mark's businesses are growing, so he has to be in New York a little bit more often. But I envision when Brooklyn would be born that Mark and I would be spending the majority of the time on the one roof in the same city. In the same house, although I love Mark's hustle and work ethic, the distance is really putting a strain on our marriage. Now, my sidebar again, can you? If this is a true marriage, is this a true legitimate sense of a union? Girl, you can move to New York. You can satisfy all your you know, inhibitions and, and just settle there. Get on the New York cast of Real Housewives and, and, and just do that thing. I'm sure they can make an opening for you. You bring in good drama. You, you bring in ratings. Go for it. But yet, no, that wasn't something you were trying to do. You wanted to live in Atlanta. He wanted to live in New York. It seems to all be a scam, okay? And you're trying to save face. Well, let's not save face anymore. Let's just come on and put the cards on the table. Let's call a spade a spade. And let's move on, baby. Just let's move on, okay? All this ridiculousness because on this new episode that's coming up, hopefully it will be shown this uh, Sunday. Coming up uh, the 17th that we're uh, speaking into fruition. Okay, God willing, we'd be here to see it. Uh, he's going to be treating you really terrible. And even you with all your comings and goings and all your bad dealings, all your, you know, bad behavior in the past, you know, I've forgiven you for them. I've moved on. I'm embracing you. Okay, for the better. He's treating you and, and he's. He's just making you seem like you don't even exist. And that's the worst type, type of shade you can give anybody. Especially if you want to call him your husband, the father of your baby, and all this, giving him all these accolades. And he can barely take you as a human being, okay? He don't even want to be in the same room or even breathing the same air that you are both inhabiting together. In that one scene that I'm seeing, it's piss poor, uh, Kenya. You should think more of yourself. Like I said in my other video, you get hard, you drive hard to put women in their place when you feel offended or they don't offend it too. But when it comes to Mark, you can't say, say nothing. You see like a fly on the wall. You like very passive. And I'm like, girl, where is your strength? Okay, where's your go forth, be go forth and be great type of spirit? Oh, you just get on my nerves with that mess. I'm like, you're going to have the same energy, the fail of the same forethought to get a woman together from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Do the same shit with Ma, girl. Do the same shit with Ma. He evidently don't. Okay, that boat has sailed, girl. It has anchored, docked, and, and, and somewhere up in another continent. Please join it. Please join it. Because he, he don't want you. He don't want you, girl. Okay, getting back to this article. It said, uh, they announced their divorce last month. The Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know, da 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 saying when it's going to appear, this, that, and the third. Okay, but that was my whole uh, video. Marlo trying to do a, throw a little digs at Kenya Moore here and there, talking about a fashion sense and this, that, and the third, but slightly giving her a little reprieve when it comes to this sham of a marriage that she's still trying to sport out. And like I said, some people don't believe it was a sham. They believe it was an actual union and this, that, and the third. And okay, I'm with you. I respect that. I see your uh, point and your perspective. Some feel like me, all a sham just for ratings, just to get her back on the show. And, and and this, that, and the third, okay? We have those two. And then we have the people in the middle that, hell, just don't know, don't really give a fuck, okay? Or don't really care. You know what I'm saying? They just like the drama. They like to get 
phased out for a couple of hours, you know, just dropping their real mundane lives and, and action field lives just to get away. So they watch Real Housewives of Atlanta or any other senseless, mindless drama. Okay. We help each other. We help them be employed. They give us uh, enjoyment of some type of insanity, good insanity, but where we can kiki, uh, chuckle, and get our laughs on. Okay. Because it's all entertainment, all entertainment. But y'all don't heard what I said about this particular video. Now I'm going to ask you all to tell me, share your thoughts with me. Okay. Whether you agree with me, whether you don't. Put it in the comments. Let's talk about the subject matter. Okay. And let's move on to another video, which I will, which I will see you there. Okay. Will you be there? I hope so. Cause I love giving you all, you, giving you all my opinions and I love hearing yours. All right. Peace and blessings. See you next video. Bye bye. I know I ain't perfect, but I'm just telling how it